so upset she saw a snake. No, I wish you saw it so you understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a big black snake. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> it. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my weekly vlog number two of me traveling Australia. I am still in Byron Bay. It is currently quarter past one on the 10th of November and this morning I actually headed into town because basically the Wi-Fi here is not strong enough at all to try and send footage. So I have to go into town every time I want to send footage to Callum. So I went into town, had some food, there's such Oh, that's cute. There's such a nice little cafe called Espresso Head um, and their Wi-Fi is amazing so I managed to send over all of the footage. Today we have a chill day which is going to be so so nice. I've been dying for a day of just doing nothing because we've done so much in the last two days that requires like a lot of physical activity which I'm not normally quite used to yet. So my body is aching a little bit, I can't lie. So we've got a day off today. We're going to go and do the famous walk to the lighthouse and then tomorrow we've actually got a waterfall tour and then on Saturday we're going to leave Byron Bay and we actually head to Surfers Paradise which is going to be beautiful. Every Everyone that we've met on this trip so far has said you're gonna love surfers like as we travel up the coast it's apparently just gonna get better which excites me even more but yeah just thought I'd come out here and start my vlog I'm in like the jungle section of the hostel basically there's an area of our hostel where people just stay for like a week or so or like two weeks at a time or people actually live here and I'm in the area where people actually live and it is so so beautiful I came for a walk around here this morning and I had a tarot reading actually earlier which was amazing by someone who lives on the grounds here and it's just so much fun I'm loving Australia life so much i knew i was gonna love it but not like as much as i actually am to the point i don't really want to come home but anyway we're now gonna head to the beach and we're gonna go and walk to the lighthouse we've just come out into town and i actually just went into a little crystal shop and picked up myself two crystals and i also got a shell necklace i will show you them later this shop is so cute if you're in byron you need to go there and we are back at this ice cream shop that we came to in my other vlog it's called bella rosa and they do the best ice cream in byron bay again if you're here you need to try it i think this time i'm gonna go for honeycomb and i'm gonna get it in a cone instead. Okay, taste test. Oh my god, the honeycomb. That's my favorite one so far. We are around halfway and we've had to come down onto the beach and look at this little lookout spot. You can crawl up there. Crawl up there? What am I on about? You can go up there. And then there's loads of rocks so we're going to look for some crabs. There's mini fishes. I don't know if you'll be able to see them on camera. But they're down there. In. Shove the GoPro in. Go on. Shove it in. How cute. Look where we made it to. So out of breath. It's disgusting. But we made it. Guys, we have made it to the lighthouse. Oh my good god. We went the wrong way. So we went the way you meant to come back. So it was so steep. But we have made it. We are here. The view from here is probably the the most incredible view I've ever seen in my life. Look at Byron taking it all in. Oh my god. And over this side it's Byron Bay. This doesn't even look real it just looks like a postcard. Like I can't actually believe I'm seeing this with my own eyes right now. So I've said she saw a snake. No I wish you saw it so you understand. Oh, yeah. It was a big black snake. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome back to day two of this vlog. I am up bright early this morning, just had my breakfast at Espresso Head which was so so nice. That is hands down my favourite cafe in Byron Bay. And it is now 10.27 and we're going to head back to the hostel because we're getting picked up for a waterfall tour. I don't really know what to expect. I think we just get to like jump in the waterfalls, get to see different sites and stuff but I've never actually been in a waterfall before. I've seen loads of pictures and like aesthetic pictures on Pinterest of like girls jumping into the waterfalls. So maybe that'll be me today, who knows. Also got a cute little necklace yesterday I bought this from a crystal shop and I'm obsessed with it got the matching anklet too but yeah I'm excited for today let's go explore some waterfalls we just had to walk down this path oh my god that was a challenge and a half We are at the next stop on the tour and this is called Broken Head and you can just see the whole beach. Oh my god, it's beautiful. 
beautiful. Oh my god, and yesterday we did the lighthouse walk. That is the lighthouse over there. So we're just the complete other side now. So yesterday we walked all the way along there, now we're walking all the way along here. This walk is reminding me a lot of the walk we did yesterday, but it's not as uphill. Oh my god, it is beautiful. I guess this is like, well, the, to be honest, this kind of looks further than where we went yesterday, which is there. Wow. Oh my god, this is incredible. Oh, you can go down steps as well. Oh, I bet there's like a private beach somewhere down there. Wow. I'm sorry, but I really have not seen anything as full as this ever. And when you come around the corner, there is in fact, oh my god, there's a beach down there and there's people on the beach. Wow. Look, you can go all the way down here and go right down there. Oh my god. Guys, I'm moving to Byron Bay. Byron thinks he's some next level prankster and is hiding behind the bushes to try and scare them. It's not gonna work. <gasps> We are spending our last afternoon in Byron Bay by doing a little bit of shopping. We have come to one of the vintage stores. This is called Trash and we saw it yesterday but it wasn't open. So we've come to have a look here today. It looks so nice. I want to get some just cute little like jewellery bits. Maybe some shorts. Maybe a new bikini. Oh I like the look of these bracelets. I literally said oh I'm going to come to Australia and come up with loads of bracelets. You literally know I am. I think these are so cool. Guys I kind of on glasses that I kind of really like. The thing is I can't push them right up because of my eyelashes but these are kind of fun. For a girl who never wears skirts there's some actual very cute ones in here. I bought two on this trip and I'm loving it. I feel like I need to add more colour because all I bought was black. But coming here, it's inspired me to actually want to wear colour. As I said, I needed to add more colour. I just found this. It's giving like chrome hearts. Oh my god, I love that. We are mid shopping. I have bought a lot of stuff and I've actually bought some, well, I say colour. All my stuff that I bought is white and considering I bought all black stuff on the trip, now that I've got white stuff, I feel like I've got colour in my wardrobe. I bought a really, well, I'll do a go the haul when I get back. I've got a really nice dress when we go to the Whit Sundays and then I've just got a t shirt, some trousers. I feel like I just didn't pack like right i don't know i'm gonna talk about it all when i'm like back from australia and i'll give like my tips and tricks but i just feel like i didn't pack right also i caught the sun so bad today my back is so so burnt the sun in byron bay seriously is different also i'm just on facetime to attica say hi attica hello <laughs> it's 6 a.m back home and i was like oh perfect time and i know attica is going to be up to school so i'm gonna give the camera a wave <laughs> I don't know how we're going to be able to hear me as the music is so loud but we have come to the beach hotel for some food before we leave. It's our last meal and this looks unreal. I got garlic bread with mozzarella and tomatoes and chips. Look at Haz's. Haz has literally got a plate of prawns and oh my god. <laughs> Can everyone rate has his outfit down below? Right, <laughs> it's freezing. This is this was actually supposed to be so I can sit on the beach, but I'm just cold. This is right, today, right. and this is Sophie's house. Guys, at this beach house, you can actually sit outside. They have loads of blankets, and it's so cute. I want a haul. She's so cute. That was from the vintage shop, by the way. She's hot. So far. So everyone, we are now back from the waterfall tour and shopping. The waterfall tour wasn't really a waterfall tour. It was more like a scenic tour. We saw one waterfall, which was where Peter Andre filmed Mysterious Girl. And they also filmed a Herbal Essence advert there, which is apparently really famous. And that was really fun to go in. It was so hard to walk though, because underneath the water, it was like rocky. And I thought it was going to be really smooth, but it was loads of rocks. So that was really fun. And then we went to another area where there was just like a lake. But there wasn't really anything else there. It was just like a lake and a little like kiosk and shop. And then we went to, I think I showed you guys the opposite side to where the lighthouse is. And it was like another scenic like walk along the edge route. And it was so beautiful. Like genuinely some of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. Then we come back and went shopping. I'm re like ridiculously sunburnt right now. I feel like I have a tan, but everyone keeps laughing at me when I say I have a tan. But look, I do have a tan on camera. You're still laughing at me. But I want to show you guys what I got. Thing is, I can't really buy that much because obviously we're taking backpacks around and my backpack was pretty full before I came here so I bought this top first of all because like I was saying all I bought with me is black stuff so I bought this white top which is really cute then I got oh my god look at them turkeys running <laughs> oh there's a lot of turkeys around here like a lot of turkeys and they just run like oh my god that freely. was so fun Oh my god, they just chased at us. I got these cargoes, which I really like. They're like a creamy, where's the top? Like, not the turkey, just running behind the clip. They're like a creamy, sort of white colour. I don't want to get them on the ground, but I thought these would be nice because I wanted some like beachy trousers, but I couldn't really find any. So these are the closest thing that I got. But I thought these are quite nice and I'll wear them back home as well. Then I also got, I got two pairs of sunglasses. I got these ones, which are fun because yeah, yeah, I have an outfit in mind yeah, yeah. that Byron chose for me in there, which I've envisioned for the Whit Sundays. But I got these, these are so fun. They've got like blue lenses. And then I got, 
got this pair. So I've got a lot of black clothes with me, but I don't have any black sunglasses. I thought these would be fun. And they've got like brown lenses. And then this is the outfit that I got for the beach. There's a white bikini that comes with it, which I'm actually gonna wear before I wear the actual outfit. But it's like a long mesh dress. And the slit is really high and it's got like ruche sides. And I just envisioned this like on the beach with like wet hair. I mean, the vision is probably not gonna work out exactly like how I actually want it to, but I'm gonna try my best. But I thought this was really nice because I don't really have many dressy clothes with me. I've just kind of been living in like gym wear stuff. I didn't really think what I packed through. But yeah, that's everything we got. We're actually leaving here tomorrow, which is really sad because I love Byron Bay. I'm like, I can definitely envision myself. Well, living here is probably a push. Maybe when I'm older, but definitely coming back here for like a lengthy amount of time, I would love to do. Um, but yeah, we're leaving here tomorrow and we're going to a Surfer Paradise. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna pack my bag. I'm gonna get a shower because I really need to shower, put after sun on and go to bed. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to day three of this vlog. So we are actually leaving Byron Bay today. I'm genuinely so sad to leave here. I feel like I've really just found like a second home not only in this like hostel but just in this place it is incredible it's one of the most beautiful places i've ever been the vibe of every single person here is so different to anything i've experienced in like any place i visited before i already cannot wait to come back here we've all been saying we want to come back next year and i'm sure every single place that i go in australia i'm going to feel like that but like genuinely in byron bay there's just something about it that just feels so homely being here i can't explain it we are actually getting a two hour bus today going to surfers paradise surfers paradise apparently is going to be a little bit like Miami. It's basically like a big built up city but on the sea so pretty much what Miami is and I'm really really excited because Miami is one of my favourite places ever and we actually have we're there for two nights so tonight and tomorrow night so we have one full day and then we're moving on again but I'm excited because we actually have like no things booked here so we just have free time so I think we're just going to sunbathe, lay on the beach which oh my god I love doing. I feel like we haven't really done that yet. We've been on the beach for like two hours max at a time but because we've been doing so much stuff we haven't had time just to sit and do like nothing. I'm excited for that. That's going to be really fun. Again, we're getting a Greyhound bus to Surface Paradise, which is super, super comfy, super easy. Would definitely recommend them if you were traveling Australia. But yeah, I'm going to be really sad to leave here. I don't know. It just feels like now we've been here for six nights. It's like I could genuinely just stay here. And like, the people we've met here, they're like, yeah, we wanted to come here for like two, three days and ended up staying here. And I can't. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh my God. I thought you were a random person. <laughs> Loads of people we've met have been here for like two days at a time or thought they were going to come for two days and then ended up staying here for three months. So I feel like that genuinely could be me if I didn't have a reason to go back home. So yeah, we're going to check out, head to the bus stop and head to a surface paradise. This has been the view though that we've been waking up to for the last six mornings because our room has been like on this side over here. And oh my God, I'm going to miss it so much. Like I said, this was the hostel from the Inbetweeners. So I'm so happy and so glad that I got to experience staying here because that's my favourite film ever. Guys, this is the not so glamorous part of the travelling carrying your bag oh my god my backpack is so heavy literally my back feels like it could break right now but we are currently walking to the next bus stop oh my god i'm so out of breath we have made it to the bus station and our bus has just arrived this is what the buses look like this is what our last one looked like as well this one's actually just come from sydney so this is exactly what we got a week ago and then our bag just go under there and we're going to be on this bus for two hours this one isn't bad at all hi Byron's dyed his hair as well. Australia is really getting to him. He's had to dye his hair. He's got a crystal around his neck. We've got all of our bags and we have made it to Surfers Paradise. This is what we do at every stopping. <laughs> the bags are too heavy, so we have to bend over. Oh God. <laughs> You are like you're about to run for a race. <laughs> Every destination we get to, I feel like these bags get heavier and heavier. Like I know I have bought stuff, but it just doesn't warrant I've how heavy. I've actually bought a sarong and I feel like it's like 20 kg more. It's just my honestly. It's, I think it's because we have to have our backpacks on our front as well. And I feel like that's kind of like making it even. But my back right now, my neck, oh my God. We have been in Surfers Paradise five minutes and we are already heading to 7-Eleven and we need to get some lunch. And every time I see a 7-Eleven, it excites me so much because these are my favorite gas stations ever. They have loads of sushi and I haven't had sushi yet on this trip so I think I'm gonna get this. This is the chicken sushi. Oh, and it's five dollars as well. It's on sale. Oh my god, look what I just spotted. Milky Bar gold cookies and they've got the classic. I think I actually fancy a classic. Oh my god, do they have strawberry twirls as well? Because I still really need to try those. There's no way. Caramello koala. Oh my god, this is like a Freddo. But look, they've got the Freddo strawberry here. What the hell? This is so cool. I feel like I just need to try one of these just because. This is obviously the Australian version of a Freddo. Got this little Freddo which I want to try. It's pretty much melted already and the shop is literally 30 seconds around the corner. But this is so cute that they do koalas instead of, it must look creepy though. Mm -hmm. 
style so nice. I also got sushi. This one is just chicken sushi. Oh no, crispy chicken sushi. They also had teriyaki chicken, which I'm going to try another day whilst we're here, but I got this one. And then I also got a classic milky bar. And they're like thicker here in England. They're just like flat. These ones are thick. They come really nice. We have just checked in at our next hostel. We can go into the room in like 20 minutes. I thought I'd just do a mini tour of what we've seen so far. So we're staying at a hostel called Buds and it's really, really nice from what we've seen. The pool looks amazing. I'll show you in a minute. This is what it looks like. I think it's quite a small hostel. Like it doesn't seem nowhere near as busy as the arts factory there's a little sign here it says reception pool kitchen good times and bar when you walk in here the music's really loud so i can't really film but there is four tables and there's a bar back there and then reception to check in is just there and then as you walk around here this is the pool area the pool looks so so nice and there's loads of like benches and stuff around it oh my god i cannot wait to go in here and look at this little bit here as well there's like swinging egg chairs this is so cute i love it here already this is our room me byron and has are in a four room and then Jasmine and Soph are in a double room next door. So this is the room. There's four lockers. So I breath coming up the stairs. This time we actually have a mirror as well. We haven't had any mirrors in the others. So that's nice to have a mirror and not have to do so our makeup and hair in little mirrors. And then over here, we've got the two beds. Byron's on one of them. And I'm on the top bunk this time. You're joking. Freezing cold. Oh, put it on. And then this Welcome is Jazz and Soph's MTV Cribs. And they've got two beds in here. They've got a little coffee table as well, which is nice. And then they've got their lockers coffee. up there. For all the coffee you're going to be drinking here. This is what the hostel looks like outside our room. And we're in number 25. This is so fun. I love this hostel. I think we are right by the beach. We looked on a map, but it just feels very beachy here. I can't explain it. And then this is our view from the balcony. I think there's like actual apartments over there as well, which is cool. What's amazing is I just unpacked all of my stuff and I was going through it, like opening all the packing cubes, everything like guys i can't find my wash bag for the bathroom and it has in my microfiber towel luckily i bought two of them but like my bigger one and it had all like shampoo conditioner hair stuff don't know what else it had in there it has something in there and i have in fact left it at the other hostel i don't really know what's happened we think i left it there but then we searched the room and it wasn't there so i basically lost half of my stuff which were well, not half my stuff that's very dramatic i've lost a lot of my toiletries so i'm gonna go to the shop later and rebuy them but now they've just put me in check that i need to like check my bags every time i'm packing i'm just baffled though because we searched the room and checked the room and there was nothing there so it just doesn't really make sense as to where it would have gone but anyway we have one toiletry bag down so we're gonna have to rebuy all of that but we are now gonna chill by the pool today we're only in surface paradise for two nights which is really sad actually because i like this hostel a lot but we're gonna try and get a tan on i'm gonna try and get me a bit more of a tan i'm still looking very pale but yeah we're here for two nights so we're gonna go downstairs by the pool we're gonna chill for a bit we have come down to the pool this is probably the nicest oh, hostel pool so far oh jazz and sofa both in is it cold a little bit but so Look how cute all of this bit is. This looks like a proper little like hotel resort. I love it. And then over there, you got more pool and you've got like a big beach hut. Oh my god, big building in the background over there as well. Right, we are back from the pool. It actually got really cold down there. The pool area kind of got really shady because there's a palm tree. So we've come back upstairs and we're gonna get changed and we're gonna go. I think along like the beach and just kind of explore what's here. Has was just looking on her phone at what to do, like what there is to do in Surface Paradise. And there is so much. It's oh, it's more of like a city vibe than Byron Bay. There's like Warner Brothers things here to do. Do you say Ripley's, believe it or not? Ripley's, there's loads of stuff. So I don't know what we're going to do, nice but I'm man. excited. Feet look pretty. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you guys was, I found it. But what I'm really confused by, it wasn't there. Like, it genuinely wasn't there. And I said to everyone, I was like, guys, I've lost it. We were convinced that it had been put in like a bag and then we'd accidentally binned it. It's now here and I have it so I don't have to buy a new towel. I've already been struggling anyway because I bought the wrong size towel for the trip. So I've been drying my body with a towel that's meant for your hair. But I was going to have to use like an actual like hand towel or like a hand cloth rather than drama body but anyway we found it so don't have to buy anyone now guys so i'm pretty sure i've got the right building i've just been, done some googling but it's one of these buildings where they film the i'm a celeb walk the plank challenge and it says it's the focus building which oh my god yeah it is it says focus at the top it's this one this is where they film the plank challenge i'm sorry this is so cool i'm living my i'm a celeb fantasy right now which means they don't film the show like far from here surely oh my god this is so cool guys it is the building i've just googled it and this is where they filmed it if i was here like a week earlier i would have seen them filming this challenge oh my god i'm gutted yeah stop moving a lot <laughs> <laughs> do we get away, God? Why is your face like that? It's fast. Oh, Byron can do it. Is it fast? It doesn't look that fast. Oh God! Oh, rust biscuits. Yeah, that's good. Sandwich spread. I've sandwich, never seen that before. I've had sandwich. Yeah, I've had that before. I've never seen that. Marshmallow fluff is American. Also, it's not yeah, pickled mussels. They're cockles. Mm, vinegar. No. Daddy's sauce is not English. No, Daddy's is English. Vinegar is one thing I don't I really see them have on tables here. Yeah. So maybe that's why. I Sage have, and I onion. Have the Daddy's H3 sauce. Do you? Brand Terry's chocolate sauce. orange. Tacky aren't odd. This is all American though. Yeah, this is meant to be like the British shelf. That's wow. cool. That's very interesting to see. Guys, they have mini Wonka bars. I would love to buy a 
have to kiss one of these, but everything melts really, really quickly here. They're so cute. This candy corn pumpkin is giving all sorts of Bethany Motor, Alicia Marie, 2014 YouTube. Oh my God, I used to want candy corn so bad. I ordered some on eBay. We are in the, what's this called? Hostel and it's a dorm room. Dorm. <laughs> we're in the, it a dorm room. I don't know. We're in the dorm room hostel. I don't know what we're called. We're in the outback. We're, we're in the outback. We're back. We went for a little walk around the main bit. We went to, it's called like Paradise something. I can't remember what it was called, but it was at the main like shopping complex in Surfers Paradise. It was really cool. There's a lot of food places. It's very much like, it's giving Miami vibes, but it's also very much like home. Like all the chain food places are there. There's like a TJ Friday's, McDonald's, KFC, Subway, everything you can think of. We actually did get McDonald's for dinner, even though after we filmed my trying the entire McDonald's Australian menu, which will be up very soon, we said no more McDonald's, but all of us are so tired and we wanted just a chill bed night um, and a cheap meal. So we got McDonald's. I had the Angus burger, which was really good chicken nuggets and a coke and now we are just gonna chill for the rest of the night pretty much we have kind of well i've kind of unpacked i say i've unpacked i've just put two or three things in the locker and i'm gonna send some footage to callum and then i am gonna head to bed i think we're all gonna get an early night tonight so i'm gonna round Games off night. oh sorry no it's actually game time tonight we're gonna play uno and then we're gonna go to bed so i'm gonna round off this part of the vlog <laughs> now and i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning everyone and welcome back to day two of surfers paradise we are up early and ready this morning we are gonna actually spend the day on the beach there's so much to do here but the thing is when you're traveling i feel like i forget that i'm actually here for so long and sometimes you need days to just slow down and just to have a chill and not feel pressured into like trying to get as much done and like crammed into one day as possible and there's those like theme parks here and water parks here and like really cool things to do but all of us are just shattered from the constant traveling so we're gonna have a day completely on the beach and then we're either gonna get food out at the mall or we're gonna come back and cook food in the hostel and then i'm I'm gonna have a really chill night. I need to do a load of work on my laptop. I'm gonna get a shower. I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna repack my bag. Make sure that everything kind of fits in place. It's all got not really messy because it's still organised, but I just want to reorganise it just to make sure it's exactly how I want it. And yeah, it's gonna be a very very chill day in Surfers Paradise today. I'm excited though. I'm excited to try and get a bit more of a tan. My body is like starting to take to it, which is crazy for me because I never ever tan, even the slightest. So to even have this much of a tan line, pretty mad. But yeah, I'm excited. So let's go Sunday. I have bought myself on a little solo trip to 7-Eleven this morning to come and get a drink and I'm so excited making use of 7-Eleven whilst it's on the corner. I really want to try one of these because Has tried one yesterday. She tried the butterscotch latte and she said it was amazing but I just don't know if it's going to give me a headache but before I go definitely going to come here and I'm definitely going to try one of them because apparently they're meant to be unreal. We have come out for breakfast. I got my usual scrambled eggs on toast and then I got a banana smoothie. I'm loving banana smoothies recently. I love this. It really does give Miami vibes having like the city and all the buildings on the side of the beach. However, I have been told apparently sharks are really common here and they have like helicopters flying over to see if there's any sharks and then you can only swim between the flags and that's not a lot of room at all that's why everyone's in like this part of the sea and not that part guys the sea is cold here i don't know how all these people are jumping in and out of it it's cold isn't it ah! i'm just freezing And we are back in the centre. We are actually near Surfers Paradise Boulevard and I have done some shopping. I went to a shop called Fast Times. I'll show you what I got. I just got a pair of shorts because I really needed some new shorts. I've already bought a hat and I really don't need another one but I actually think these are really cute for whilst I'm here. I really like this one. I think that's so fun. We have just been into Coles. I'm actually going to have dinner in the hostel tonight so I'm going to show you what I got. It's actually not that exciting, but I got a spaghetti carbonara just to put in the microwave because we're not sure if we have an oven or not. There was definitely hobs, but we didn't want to risk it. So I got a carbonara and then I also got a pot noodle just to have in bed later. This is the oriental chicken one. Then I also picked up, where are they? I'm obsessed with these. I know you can get these in the UK, but they have them everywhere here. Baby cucumbers. And then to go with the baby cucumbers, I got some Caesar salad dressing, which is really random. But I love dipping a cucumber in Caesar salad dressing. We're all making our microwave meals. I got a carbonara. Did you get mushroom and truffle risotto? Absolutely. So nice. And this is the kitchen for this hostel by the way. This one is so organised. Like, look at this over here. Do you not think this is so satisfying? What are you looking at? Are you stealing something? Look at this. It's so satisfying to look at like all the different food containers. We actually could have got stuff to put in there but we leave tomorrow so there's no point now. But yeah, this is what the hostel kitchens look like. Jazz and Sofa cooking, cooking. Pasta bake. Are you actually cooking a pasta bake and like putting it in the oven? Big, it's just we've got pasta 
pasta bake. Pasta bake sauce. Sauce. Oh. Because again, there's no oven. Yeah, what could you do about the Oh, is there actually no oven? Oh, there was. Yeah. Good job I didn't get garlic bread then. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, my God, okay. that carbonara is unbelievable. Oh, the pollen flies joining me for dinner. It is now later on this evening and I'm going to keep my voice down because Haz is asleep but you probably can hear the music really loud as well but there's some sort of party going on downstairs which I low-key do wish I was kind of involved in however one I'm severely severely sunburned the sun here is no joke I've been putting factor 50 on all day and it doesn't actually look it from my leg here on my face but my arm and the main part of my body is giving like drumstick squashy like Neapolitan ice cream sort of vibe and it's really painful so I'm hoping well I've put aloe vera on it hopefully overnight it will calm itself down and it will go to a nice brown color but we literally did nothing we ate food sat down booked tickets for stuff to do in brisbane and have just chilled we watched mr beast and that is it so i'm now going to go to bed and i will see you guys in the morning We have all checked in at the Nomads Hostel in Brisbane and this is our room. I have bagged this bunk because I had top one last time so I wanted bottom one this time. And again, we have got a six room. So it's just three bunk beds and then we've got some lockers over here. This is the view from our room. It's so nice and we have a window. I'm hoping that if we can open this, we can go out on the balcony which would be really nice because it's boiling in here. But yeah, it's nice to be back in the city. These are the lockers that you have in the room as well. We've just been unpacking our little packing cubes into them. I've got a bottom one this time so i'm gonna unpack my stuff just so i'm not living out of the bag for the next three nights our hostel actually has a rooftop this time which is fun has some byron beat us up here not sure how that happened because we left at the same time but this is so fun this is so nice to have a rooftop this is the other side buildings here are fun whoa oh i'm so tall and we have arrived in brisbane and we are here for three nights so for the first day or well, to be honest it's already 4 30 we just kind of settled into the hostel went up to the rooftop as you would have seen and now we're just gonna have a little look around and see what's here i'm excited it's nice to be back in the city. I didn't realise that we were going to be going from like a beach place to a city place to a beach place. This next place we're going to Noosa, which I think is going to be more beaches. But it's nice to be back in the city for a few days. We're going to the zoo tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. We're going to the uh, Steve Irwin uh, Australian Zoo. It's going to be so much fun. But yeah, we're going to look for some food, have a little look around and explore our hostel in brisbane like i said it's the nomads hostel is really really central and close to everything but just having to walk to the apple store because jazz needs to get a new charger and it is literally four minutes from the hostel so yeah everything is super super central and close which is good we're in coles byron has just put some reindeer ears on my head but we're just buying some food for the hostel for my breakfast in the morning i got some chocolate chip cereal bars i also got some caramelized french onion hummus this looks so good and then they do over here mini jars of pickled onion a pickled onion. This is what I got. I need to get some fresh. Oh, oh! I know. I saw that, but do you know what it is? It is what is that? Oh, it's literally like French onion. What's in French onion soup? With it? And then um, I'm not sure what's on top, but I picked up the same thing, and I was like, I think it'll be nice. Mm, I think it will be. You like French onion soup? Look at this. They have a little like kind of like a freezer section but it's got macaroons mochi and then these assorted bambino cones they're like mini ice creams oh my god why don't we have this at home right are you ready so then after i've got to go once i get up I go, Woo! or am i doing the walk? no how should we do the yeah, excitement you'll be the hype man i remember when i remember i remember when i lost my mind Woo! there was something so special about that place even our emotions are an echo And so much Right, we are back from the shop. We just made that TikTok, so make sure to go and follow my TikTok if you haven't already. But I finally got some Tim Tams. So I'm gonna try them for you. However, I have been told by Jasmine Cloth they take why does we cloth? Jasmine Cloth. That they why did you cloth? Jasmine Cloth just got out my mouth. Yeah. I don't know. Why, why is it like that? I'm not in the room? I don't well. know. Jazz, over here, she's over there. She told me they taste like a penguin bar. Yeah, and like a penguin biscuit. Mmm. They're nicer than a penguin. Bar. But it is like a, it's basically a penguin biscuit, isn't it? Yeah, uh, essentially it's a penguin biscuit. They're really good. I have any funny stomach though, so I probably shouldn't eat the whole thing. They're really nice. Good morning 
everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I was gonna say another vlog, another day of this vlog. We are at Australia Zoo today. I'm so excited because this is like the Steve Irwin Zoo. And unintentionally, like it was a complete coincidence, we've come on Steve Irwin Day. We have no idea until yesterday when we checked it's actually Steve Irwin Day today. So I'm so excited. We're gonna see koalas for the first time and kangaroos. I've never seen a koala before. And that is the one animal that I'm so excited to see. But yeah, I'm gonna show you loads of animals. I'm gonna show you around. I, oh my god, I'm just so excited to be here. We actually got a train here and then we got on the bus. And this is the queue. It's not bad considering it's Steve Irwin Day. I mean, it's very early. Right now it is 17 minutes past nine and the zoo opened 17 minutes ago. Oh my god, I'm so excited. How cute is this? As you walk in, they've got like beauty film photos of Steve Irwin, but one when he was a baby. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, the alligator or the crocodile as well. This is so exciting. When you first walk in, there's a statue of Steve Irwin and his family. And we've been saying, like, it's so sad but so beautiful as well because, like, this zoo is basically his legacy. Um, and I'm so excited to be here. But yeah, this statue is beautiful and it's as soon as you walk in. This is Daisy. And she was born in the 1960s. So she's over 60 years old. Wow. So, like I said, it's Steve Irwin Day today. And the Irwin family are actually at the zoo all day, which is amazing. I still can't believe we're here on this day and they're actually putting their hands in concrete over there I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see they're just over here there's another two crocs here there's one over there and then one in the water and these are called Lucy and Weeper it's so cute because these are the crocodiles that Steve Irwin used to train we are now at the dingoes oh my god they're like dogs I've never seen a dingo before it's beautiful it looks so soft and fluffy guys there's two people carrying this snake Jesus Christ. <gasps> oh my god, that's kind of making me feel a bit sick. Wow. There's another snake. I don't think the camera is quite picking up how big these snakes are. <gasps> that's like two of them. My three god. Of it's I wonder fat how many feet with a P. Oh my god, the koalas. This koala is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I feel like I could cry. I know. Look at it. Oh my god. No, this is too much. Oh my god, look at the one over there. Oh god, I feel sick. They're so cute. No, <gasps> Stop it. No. I can't believe we're watching this right now. Is he joining it? Oh my god, it's oh my god. It's just cuddle. That is adorable. Oh my god, it's cuddling. Stop it. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's hugging. Maybe it's. He's doing it? something else. I don't know what he's um, doing. His hand is like, what the hell is happening? I turned the camera on at the wrong time. Guys, we just learned that koalas have pouches, which oh, I didn't yeah. actually know. And when they're born, they're the size of a jelly bean. And then they sit in the pouch for six months until they come out. How are they the size of a jelly bean? How is that possible? This is, in fact, a python skeleton. And I know Atticus would find this so interesting. So Atticus, this clip is for you. It's feeding time for the wombat. And the wombat is in the bin. Oh, it's coming out. Stop it. Oh. Oh my god, it's following her. That is so cute. What on earth is that? We're in the bird sanctuary. Oh my god, I've never seen a bird like that before. They're meant to like free fly in here, but I can't really see many. I saw that this is there's a dove in here. A rose crowned fruit dove. Oh, there's pigeons in here. Katie's scared of pigeons. <laughs> We've met up with our friends Katie and Owen, by the way. <laughs> they're here. Katie is afraid of birds. Next up are the kangaroos. Oh, they're so cute. This is their little rest area. Wow. Oh my god, it's a kangaroo. They're so cute. They look different to what I thought they were going to look like. It's beautiful. <laughs> they're all so tired, bless them. It's because it's so warm. Oh, they're so soft. What the hell? I like a teddy bear. <gasps> Wow. Oh my god. They literally are like a teddy bear. And that would be why I've been saying it's a kangaroo the whole time. Look at that one stood up. It's a wallaby. Oh. Are you sure? Ignore me. I thought it was a kangaroo. It's a wallaby. That's why it looks so different to what I thought. I can't believe it's not a kangaroo. I thought it was a kangaroo this whole time. Hello. <laughs> now we're walking through the koala walkthrough. Oh and they're all god. in the trees. I don't know. Guys, it's so hot here. Oh my god, they have missed. Thank oh. the Lord. Oh. oh. <laughs> when you're petting, just use the back of your hand yeah. or a nice soft open palm. It's not a scratch or a little scrub. Okay. And you're just working along here on the rump. Okay, you're not coming up anywhere near the top or the side. It's just on the rump. Okay. So then we know oh. it's yeah. right. Okay. Let's move it away. It's like a jacket in there. Yeah, it feels like a jacket. Oh. 
Close to the windows there, Shane and Jen are able to run their hand all over the tiger's body. It is lunchtime and we have come to the Crikey Cafe and I got a cheeseburger, chips which is massive, look at the size of it next to my hand, a large coke, some smoky barbecue sauce and since being here I've got a touch of mustard, so I got some mustard as well. Exactly why today's day was chosen to celebrate our original wildlife warrior and really remember Steve and his passion for all of our beautiful wildlife. Yeah, he truly was an amazing man. But before we go any further, we would like to acknowledge the Gubby Gubby, the traditional custodians of this beautiful land that we're standing on today. and you'll always be safe. Murray, are you going to let everyone give you a big, giant round of applause before you go? There's so many of them. Oh, so cute. Oh, this one looks so peaceful. We have now come into the Africa part of the zoo and there's loads of giraffes. And oh, there's also zebras. I love giraffes, one of my favorite animals. Also, as it is Steve Irwin day today, we went to watch the crocodile show and his family were actually doing it and it was amazing. I've never seen anything like that. And it just felt so nice to be here on like today, I don't know, celebrating it and like carrying on his legacy. And it was just so, oh, it was just amazing. It was probably one of the best things I've ever seen. If you're in Australia, you have to come and visit this zoo. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, we're seeing his son as well, oh my God. We're getting a drink because it is so hot right now. It's 32 degrees and they do frozen Coke and frozen Fanta. So I'm gonna go for the frozen Fanta. Hopefully it'll be a little bit like a Tango Ice Blast. This looks amazing and exactly what I needed right now. Guys, we got on the wrong bus back from the zoo and like, no, we've headed in the complete wrong direction. We've gone to up rather than down. It was like everybody on the bus. There's a on the wrong bus. How many was about 15? About 15, 20 of us. So now, don't know where we are. Do we have to go towards me? That way? No, we're going to have to go back down. We just got to get the right bus. Oh, this is a nightmare. Right, apparently there's a train that we can all get on. Fingers crossed. Shit! <laughs> and yes, I'm going to carry on the safari, guys. Let me know if you want to know any facts about the animals. I'm here to help. <laughs> okay, update just to explain what sort of happened. We basically went on the bus for longer than we should have, but we got on the whole wrong bus without realizing that everybody did. Ended up very much near Noosa, which is the next place that we're going. Oh my god! What was. Oh my god! Um, 
<laughs> anyway, we are now trying to look for some food because we've got off the bus and we now have half an hour until the train. But there is nothing open, like all the little cafes and everything is shut. So right now, no luck. And I also don't know whereabouts we are, but I'll update you if you find some food. There's like vending machines and stuff, but none of them are working. So we are starving. Guys, we have struck gold. We have found a little supermarket right by the train station. So we can get some food and they have everything. <gasps> Wow, snack of choice. These are amazing. Honey soy chicken crisps. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with them.